instrument is the sarod, and music professor Parag Chordia is a master. Music is both his passion and his work. He wants to know more about how those sharps and flats change the way we think. One of the interesting things about uh, recent work in cognitive neuroscience is the extent to which we are, in a way, many people. There are so many different networks in the brain which are responsible for very different types of tasks. Chordia is researching the neurological roots of the creative process. He says music is an important catalyst to grasping abstract concepts and unleashing the imagination. To be a great engineer, to really produce innovative products and to advance the frontiers of science, you have to be creative. At Georgia Tech's Music Intelligence Lab, Chordia is investigating whether real-time creativity, like improvising in a jazz band, uses the brain in a different way. When a person is improvising, are they entering into a uniquely creative state? And if so, what is that state all about? Brain scans show a distinct difference when professional musicians are playing composed music versus improvising. His research is also aimed at developing computer tools that use music to enhance learning. How can we create interactions between humans and computers that do very concrete things, like allow you to you know, improve your math skills or allow you to learn an instrument? Singing very badly in public. And for people who think they have no musical skills, Chordia created a popular iPhone app called La Di Da. It makes most everyone sound better. It listens to what you're singing and it composes music to match. You sing and it makes something that sounds nice, so you feel like singing more and you feel like having this kind of musical experience. His research shows such a musical experience feeds the mind, sparking greater proficiency in science and technology. So the next time you feel like breaking into song, go for it. It's good for you. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.